mercy so Tall picture I don't even talk about this I'm a I'm too grown to be heard that before I'm gonna tell you I got some good advice I'm gonna tell you Sit down somewhere You might just learn something From grown women talking I was gonna bring y'all food again. Okay, but Girl, next thank time you. You're bringing the not same thing. Popeye. Well, you liked it so much last time. Uh, we we were being nice. Well, well, that's what you brought. We were happy. Appreciate it. Well, though. you know what? Thank you. Next thank time you, you bring the food. Okay. Appreciate it. I'm just yeah, gonna say, it. I'm gonna need some more Gouda no. cheese. Oh yeah. yeah. That Gouda was good. Now good. my grandma's okay. okay. Smoke okay. Gouda. You hooked well, it up. But see, after last time we ate all her Gouda, she locks it up now. She says, you're not eating my Gouda. You know how to talk mm -hmm. to her. What you do no, is you get the key my, at I'm, night from around her neck while she's sleeping. You go in and get that You try to pry that key from between her say, boobs. That is not okay. You're going to get stabbed. Right? She don't play. She no, has a pistol in her boob. She's going to sleep and she she you're go, only nope. dreaming. She She's going to wake up and say, Leah. You know what? I'm not going in there. I'm going to sit in her in there, okay? Oh, oh, I know who my grandma is. I ain't playing. Uh -huh. I was trying to see if she, she might see your grandma. Your grandma be like this, Leah. Well, I mean, I'll try anything once. I'm just uh -oh. saying. There you she know, you know what? Is this the booty talk? <laughs> no. I ain't mess with nobody, grandma. See, you can't tell nobody some stuff. Uh -oh. You know, uh -oh. let you know I like booty action. You blab up there trying to hook me up with granny. No. Why would you think? Why is she okay, bringing your grandmother in this conversation? I don't know, like but this. I'm telling. I gotta get a visual. For real. I'm telling. <laughs> wow. I'm telling. She gonna get too. a whooping. I'm telling. Uh, I'm telling. Uh, mm. I am not letting the old lady cougar no, attack me. No. I'm Let not me gonna do some. it. Let me tell you something. I'm telling. I said, I said, grandma. Because I, I was taking care of my grandma. Mm. And she was in there with grandpa. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I heard some heavy breathing. What? And then they started arguing. No. And I didn't know what they was arguing mm -hmm. about. And all of a sudden, well, you know, I had to act sleep. But I heard her saying, you just a nasty ass. You didn't have to fart. You could have held that in. No. And I'm like, please don't tell me. Uh -uh. My granddaddy farted in the middle. I think some well, air fresheners should have been by the side of the bed. This spray and keep it going. Okay, spray okay. It going. Since that, I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. If your man farted in the middle of you having sex, what would you do? <laughs> I would probably laugh my ass off. Right? I wouldn't laugh. For real. That's nasty. <laughs> Listen. I mean, what would you do, Lee? I mean, you like, say you sorry. Say you I mean, that. I know I would probably laugh in the end, but I would mm -hmm. let him know that's nasty. You know, <laughs> I would say, you know, how you gonna do that in the middle of all this? You done busted planned. up my group. That's okay. You know your body. You it know you had games. No, 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 no. We started. What if y'all was in the middle? And he was down there on you, and you had the fast gas. What would you do? I'm pooping. See, I'm not going to on him, but you think it's okay because to let it go. Because smell like flowers. Oh, oh but can you imagine that, you know. 69 and, and all of a sudden you're like, poof. <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. That is oh, terrible. You know, I think I don't know. that's when I'd use mm -hmm. vulgar cuss words. I'm tired of the visuals. I would use a vulgar cuss <laughs> word. I don't even want to see the visual <laughs> of the flexation it. coming out hitting the nose from a 69. A vulgar, Come on. I think I would have a vulgar cuss word. <laughs> you know, I'll it be like, start with some F's and some MF's and so, get the so F if you, up off. You so wait, leave so, me so alone. if you were in the, if you felt gassy, you would just tell them, hey, get up. No, I would, I would try to do something and move around 
and, and get Move up out of his face. And then no, get up out of his face. <laughs> you know, hold back. Come on up here, baby. Uh -uh. Come on, come on a up here. A coochie fart, I can't help. But a booty right. out my ass, no. Well, a coochie gonna poot anyway. It poots automatically. It don't poot, it farts. It's got air. Pumping air in it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it's called? A queef? A queef. I thought a queef was out the booty. I thought a no. queef was a blunt. A, what? A queef. She said a blunt. I never heard of it. How many days. times have you queefed? You know what? I don't know what a queef is. <laughs> I, say, I don't know what a queef is. Does my body queef? Talk about I got a federal law enforcement job. I can't be queefing at all. Uh-uh. I got a queef card then. You got a, a queef what? card? A queef card. Uh-uh. I'm done. Oh, I'm, I'm done. Stop she it. got a queef card. We're, we're not, no, we're not well, making up know. words for that. You know, I don't even know what a queef is. is my question is, is if you like a man to eat your booty, and mm -hmm. then you gotta just, it just slips out, do you say excuse me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she got all humble. Yes. yes. So if you pass gas, you say you you gotta say excuse me. Well, I, I that's said, you know, hopefully you but would can you anyway. Just, you can say hold up and go to the bathroom, do what you gotta do, and then come. But back. what if it just comes out? What if it's so good you can't stop? No, it's not about it, it's know? so good you come. Um, what if it just comes out? It happened so fast that you couldn't catch it. Yeah, yeah you just apologize and keep going. Like, sorry, boo. <laughs> I'm sorry. You apologize. You spray. You keep it moving. You don't even spray. Who has spray like right by their bed? I have. Yes, I do. I have aerosol by my bed. Are you serious? It must smell like shit in here. It smells like roses. <laughs> I can't. How's she pre planned? How do you pre plan? Well, I don't want to know. Okay, I'll, I'll say that. You know, you're far and you pre plan. If. I bet your man thinks you too. If we were having fart. sex, <laughs> that's one thing. And I'd be like, that. <laughs> that's horrible. We probably laugh about it oh and move on. But if you're like <laughs> giving oral and that happens, that is not the business. I don't think I, I'd have more of a problem if you fart unless it lingers. Okay, cancel question. I mean, that's a rooted what fart. What position are you doing oral? Because, you know, depending on how you are angled when you do oral, you know, the fumes may not directly hit your nose right away. So are you on a sideways angle in between the legs angle? But that's why I said you know, it wouldn't be a problem unless... It was a deep rooted fart. Like, <laughs> no, she's talking about the smell. I mean, she's like, smell. it curls your nose hairs. That you be like, damn! <laughs> damn! Or maybe damn. one of those farts damn. that just come and it leaves really fast, okay? And, but you then you have a lingering fart sometimes. That's what I'm saying. The that marinating be that bitch. That premium like like that right cabbage now. that you have. Yes. No. Like man. cabbage and broccoli. I mean, what would you do? I mean, <laughs> And then, and then somebody want to fan a damn blanket. <laughs> I just know. I guess I don't know what I was I'm just know. I mean, would you try to hide it? You'd be like, whoop. Too late. <laughs> too late. You can hide it. Oh, That's oh. that cabbage oh, and broccoli no. and milk. Oh, <laughs> I mean. That's some grease. <laughs> Then you just be like, it's oh, all over. over. I can't oh, even get it. I'm not even excited no more. My eyes is watering. Right. And I'm ready. To, because you know it's bad when it comes straight out and hits the ceiling. <laughs> and, <laughs> and a mushroom. <laughs> That's an atom bomb for me. <laughs> the, the paint on the walls is starting <laughs> Oh Lord! But you, you can see it. That bad. Oh, you, you can, can see it. it. We all in trouble. <laughs> you know what? I would try to run Wait. out before no, it gets. If it knocks you out and you need smelling salt to wake you up, you in real bad trouble. That's a comatose fart. I've never had it. <laughs> that's acetosis. <laughs> <laughs> that's you need to go shit. <laughs> that's yeah. what that's that's that you know what? Your that's so you check your drawers and you wipe because you didn't have a move. But you know, you can tell when somebody fart and they just like air, or it's like juicy. Yeah. And you be like, ooh, wait. So you try to say, you a bit happy sex, and he, and he takes a dump on you. Basically, it's like, what? What's that called? The meatloaf? Wait, wait, hold on. What's that called? The meatloaf? What, what meatloaf? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's called.
Oh, you done had a bowel movement and it done landed on right. my body. And it's oh. not okay. Uh, and it's not good. never okay. I think if no. the smell lingers, you just start going into like a convulsion. Like, oh, <laughs> oh what the? What the hell? Uh-uh. That's a total that turn be off because most... how can you concentrate and get back in the mold I was just going to say, now, if, it was, if you're just having sex, somebody lets out a toot, it's not a big deal, it wasn't, you know, horrible. You just keep going. But if it's something that's mind melting, <laughs> then, then at that point, you can't even can't continue. continue. You have to be like, baby, we have to try this another day right now. <laughs> you know right what? now, I'm going to need you to open oh, up some God. windows and oh, space. I'm going to need you to go take a shower. Because you know, what happens throw your when you open the window? Oh, and that stuff is still, still lingering. I'm it just gets light. You know, I'm leaving. I'm on sleeping home. on the couch tonight. Mm -mm. We gonna I'm leave that one know, in man. there. I'm out. We gonna leave that one in there. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna be like, come uh -uh. on, we gotta sneak away from you this know, one. You know, that's bad. Something's wrong with the body. If we go, you know, for, the for real, three hours for later, real, I don't think it's possible to like, if like if it stinks really bad, right. it's not even possible to be turned on anymore. That's At that I'm point, saying. like your libido has gone to the toilet with you. <laughs> because yeah, because just like, if no. I had a penis, it'd go limp. Right, for real. Like if I smelled right. that, like, uh, you can't have sex and throw up. That's just not you okay. Know what? Oh, you, wow. might, you might be in a situation you just, mm -mm. you just project it. It mm -mm. just throws up. Ooh, just, but you know, what do you do when someone is turned on by the fart? Oh, no. There is nobody in this world. Stop. Mine? I can't. No. Mine or theirs? Nobody's. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, if not he does it that's and he's turned on. Right. But I heard that um, there was one. Don't tell come me. Come on, I'm serious. No, it's it's true. true. There was one um, rock star that went into a porta potty because they said that the smell of uh -huh. feces turns them on. Too high. Oh, hell oh, no. no. Oh, no. I, oh, I think yeah. that that is uh -uh. a possibility uh, of the but, fumes. It does get you high. Uh, I can't do that. No, you want to get that high is, it makes you want to pee. But I'm not willing to go that route. Please. No. Listen. Uh, these uh. bees are driving me nuts. No. Ooh. Mm -mm. We need the bees. If they die, we die. Well, no, I die because I'm you allergic. Uh-uh. No. And I don't need them stinging me. This, that's out of control. Okay, Why you are you all in your food? crotch? Why are you all over here? Close your, no, close your, no, close your, close your food. No, close your food. Okay. Is this totally Why is they all in your crotch? This is what I want to know. You Stop know it. what? Why do you are you concerned about me and the bees relationship? The bees, <laughs> the bees just linger around us. Is that why they said the birds bees, and the bees? But the bees linger around us, but they go straight to your crotch. Listen here, they know what honey pot is. But anyway, hold on. Ah! We, <laughs> we know. Well, mine's is <laughs> mine's is sour. <laughs> mine's is sour and angry <laughs> and angry <laughs> and dried up, mad. Mm -hmm. Frowning, <laughs> upset, dehydrated. Ooh, a smile just frowning upside down. <laughs> Not mine. mine Girl, it's sideways. been a while. You still on a drop? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the brother's right gonna be mad. The brother gonna be mad. <laughs> She's still sneaking around with that rabbit. <laughs> oh Lord! You quit telling my business. <laughs> I don't have that no more. I gave it to a lady. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm using no use rabbit. I uh -oh. uh -oh. wash it. No. Uh -uh. I'm good. There's a special spray. No. It don't smell like them cookies no more. No. <laughs> it I'm smell good. brand new. It smell I'm like good. brand new rubber. Good. I am good. And it comes like a with fresh a new tire. A second pack of batteries. I am good. I'll get you some batteries. I'm good. <laughs> I'll be fine. Like, oh my Lord gonna goodness. bless me with a good man. Yes, yes, say yes. that. Hey, you say sound that. like that song, Best Little hey, Warehouse in Texas. Listen, listen. Ah, <laughs> God gonna bless us. We're gonna gonna bless me too, That's honey. Right. Especially when you have a bad seed and they don't know how to treat what it got. Oh, if y'all, okay. if y'all, gotta give you one that'll know how to treat if you right. Y'all standing it out. These bees, mm -hmm. y'all gonna be love. some good clients. I'm gonna open up a whole I'm, house. I'm staying in a drought until the Lord bless me. Ah. That's what I'm gonna do, Please, honey. Don't go away. I'm be in that. I'm gonna open up a whole house. Okay. Listen here. I can't get some. I ain't selling no tail. Y'all better sit hey, hey, hey. somewhere. Hey. hey, we had to get rid of all that food and yeah, stuff. Yeah. It was collecting bugs. Exactly. And you sitting here with the bees. With would the you going to take me to the emergency? Yes, I would. Yeah, right. I don't believe it. After you. I finish my drink. She wouldn't have yeah, took you. Right. Look, she still got a drink that was going to them. What right if it comes back? I would, I would have took you to the hospital once you got on the ground and you was jerking and flipping. I know, I would have just swole up. Yeah, three minutes. 
in an anaphylactic type of shock. Okay? And I wouldn't have been I, able to breathe. And you wouldn't have been able to breathe. I would have gave okay? you mouth to mouth. Oh. While your airways are closing. Seriously. I don't want you resuscitated. No. Me either. Not like that. Especially. I have to make sure my breath stays. You look like too. your grandma when you do that. Sure do. I exactly. love that woman. I love that her. That I love her too. too. That was not too. what Looking I wanted. Like, yes, she mm. do. So you don't want my mouth to mouth resuscitation. Mm. No. Not Even if it would have saved Joe's no. life. Thank you. Uh, I mean, what? She said, no, thank you. If I say, even you. if it would have saved if her life. It saved my life, I guess. Okay. But I put lipstick go, on. Go. I put lipstick oh, on. You're, You're not, not supposed to enjoy it. <laughs> to save a life. You're not Hers. supposed to even enjoy it. Okay. Hers. Hers. You're not supposed to enjoy it. She gonna but flip she looks like you got soft lips. Exactly. She's a hot mess. <laughs> I say you, you look ain't. like you got something. I'm just saying. We know that I'm a mess. You the leader of the hot mess. I don't tell She's you. a hot mess in the closet. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's a closet Her messy. Now, every now and then. Ain't nothing wrong with being messy in the closet. We're talking about gas. Hold oh, up. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, stop. Oh, no. Hey, no. You could not have this Are you serious? No. <laughs> no. Did you have cabbage? What in the world? Did somebody crawl up in there and die? I mean, what Why happened up in there? Why would you do that? Stop standing! And you stand so it can hit on in my pants. Oh, wow. We don't want to smell gone. it. I don't smell, smell it no that. more. Oh my gosh. I smell Seriously, pine cones. right now? I think your curls got tighter. When I, I know they <laughs> did, honey. I smell pine cones. I know mine did. They shoot all up like that. <laughs> my curls got real tight. I, I already got shrinkage. Lord, yeah, bro, I already, I already got shrinkage. you imagine what? if I did that? While we was in the groove thing, your husband would have left. He would have been mad. <laughs> he would have left. Out. He would have been yeah, like, "I'm out." And called me nasty. It would have been six months. He would have look. Yeah, <laughs> he would have went to the man cave. Depending on how bad it smelled, might have been eight or a year. <laughs> exactly, messing Ooh, around like could that. Could you go a year with and be married and not get none? That yeah. would be horrible. No, she wouldn't go a year. She chained him down to. You the know, bed. I knew a couple like that. Literally, they but. slept in the same room, twin bed, did not sleep together. They had no sex for about two years, and they were married. Why though? You just they said disagreed that was on that. that was Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> There is no couple Ooh. in this world. Why? They, it has What's the point of being married? Problems, no, that's not true. Problems. The Dick Van Dyke Show. What uh, is the yeah. purpose of being married if you... Well, see, but, back in the day, I know they did that because mm -hmm. they, sex was only for procreation. Right. So after right. that, but I couldn't have lived back in the day. Really? Two years but, and your yeah. husband? You only had pleasure? sex when you were trying to have a baby. Yeah, you got pleasure while you were doing it, but you only had sex to have a baby. Yeah. Once you had the baby, if you didn't want any more, then you start sleeping separate. I think that's stupid. Uh, that's a goddamn lie. But, but, <laughs> but, I mean, I think that's stupid. There's medical but. issues. Well, if there's medical well, that's issues, different. I understand that's, that's that. That's different. But if you think that you should only have sex in order to procreate. I didn't say that. <laughs> I, I'm like, not saying you like, did. I'm like, saying if they it wasn't me. thought that. Oh, I see. I couldn't be yeah. in that generation. No. I couldn't have been in that generation either. Sleeping in the same room, twin beds, married, and not being. No, because I if I'm not like, having like sex, that. I still want my husband in my bed. Exactly. Why would the you be contact, the two twin beds? Number one, twin don't give you no room. More than that, if once you get pregnant, you can't have sex no more, we're going to have an issue because I'm going to be knocking it out. Because mm. when I was pregnant, I was horny. -er. Right. Right. That's true. Yeah. We'll talk. Exactly. I was horny. -er. Yeah. I think when I was having my Jeez. children, mm -hmm. it's like me and my ex husband, my children's dad, and everything, we had it all the way up until like I was almost due a couple of weeks. You know? Well, yeah, you know, they say Actually, when he you broke have my sex water closer bag to that, time, like, then it know. helps you during your labor. It does. It helps you during your labor. She just said it broke her water broke bag. It. Yeah. There are some men who yes. are scared to have sex with their wives while mm -hmm. they're pregnant. True. Because they, they think they're going to injure the baby. The baby. Yeah. They yeah. probably are. He helped it come. But the baby yeah, come out with a bad back? No, just a dead head. No, 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 no. Just a dead down. He hit him in the head. Why you hit me, my daddy? But he was when you get in there before the baby. He gonna be like, I heard you. The baby gonna be kicking. my face. The baby gonna be kicking. Kick it back at it. That's crazy. He be like, oh, I'm gonna hurt the baby. Something just kicked. The baby's kicking. He's saying, back up out of here. Right. He's like, you in my space. Exactly. Right. Back up out of here. In my space. You probably didn't have nine months, daddy. You probably didn't have it all this while. Just give me nine months. Give me nine months. Exactly. Give me nine months. No, I think that 
that is a very important part of your relationship. It strengthens the connection when you are intimate. So for people to sleep separate, I, that's... I agree. I that's why it's that. easy for them to cheat on each other because they're really exactly. not connected. Right. right. I would want that connection. So right. they had the lover for pleasure and had their wife or for their husband just to have the babies. That's or companionship cool. because it's before. If it was some sexual problems, you know, where they couldn't, you know, get it up or whatever, mm -hmm. prostate you know, different situations transpiring. Mm -hmm. So they go out and they cheat. And it's kind of making it easier because you're not in the same bed. They're wondering, where, like you said, where's the connection? Where is the bonding? Well, if they're you raggedy know? in the Excuse bed, me. you just don't even care if they have a side lover because they're raggedy in the that bed. That goes anyway. back to what we was talking about earlier. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Let me work. It's not worth it. Hey, Dad, they're going to reverse it. Is your feminine way yet? Okay, okay. You got a big fat? Let me work. Okay. All right. But anyway. Maybe that's why they slept separately, though. Well, I know on TV they had to do that because you couldn't. Needs to go back to that. On TV? Yes. So mm -hmm. the kids don't see all that yes. drama? Kids see so everything nowadays. Yeah, they do. It is much. too exposed. They yeah. Absolutely. Well, they, they start it's to let exposed. a little bit more and more into it's, regular TV it's as it goes. It's too exposed, yeah. and parents do not communicate with their kids. They don't. Because they don't feel monitor they, them enough. Children right. is ready for that. monitor yeah. their TV they watching. Should monitor, and they should educate mm -hmm. a they lot of young women. And communicate with them. A lot of young women, as well as young boys, do not know what to expect mm -hmm. in regards to their sexuality. They'll be going through different things, okay, mm -hmm. and experiences and challenges. And parents feel like if they educate you on it, then you then you're, then you're condoning okay it. That, to do that's, it. Not no, that's not true. You need the education. True. They need to be I educated. I think yes. it's important to educate your kids. I don't have no problem talking to my kids. I always told them I have an open door policy. Come talk to me about sex. Don't talk to your friends because they're going to give you misinformation. Right. Exactly. You know, because they don't know what they're talking about either. They want to mm -hmm. know just like you. And right. they're making stuff yes. up as they go along. But I told, like, I, like I've, I've had this conversation with you two before. I told my son when he was like nine, when he told me he knew what sex was. Mm -hmm. I was like, um, so what is sex? And he had to tell me. Right. And I was like, okay. So he's like, <laughs> when people, two people are naked and humping. I'm like, okay. And when is it okay to do this? He's like, mm -hmm. when you're 30. And I was really excited. <laughs> I was exactly. like, thank you, Lord. But All then I, know is, I had to ask him. Pastor? I had to ask him, so do you know what a condom is? Mm -hmm. Mom. Well, don't mind me. If you know what sex yeah, is, you need to know what a condom know, is. Right? Exactly. I said, listen, I'm not condoning it. I wish you would wait till you're married. Mm -hmm. I said, but mm -hmm. I didn't. So I, I know that the, I know what the possibilities right. are. Right. And I want you to be prepared. Come talk to me. Right. You know, when my other son got older and, you know, I found out he was looking at stuff on the Internet. And I'm mm -hmm. like, son, you know. This is not something that's appropriate for your age. I said, do you know that that can be an addiction? There are people mm -hmm. who are addicted to porn. Mm -hmm. That's not something that you want in your spirit. Do you right. want that to be what you get hooked on? Why don't you wait until it's time? Right. You know, exactly. But you that's got some grown you... men addicted to that. Exactly. And yeah. I know that. That's yes. why I talked to my child about it when yeah. I saw that he was interested. To I stop said, it if you, If there's growing. something you want to know, talk to me. Mm -hmm. But you, at this time, you don't even need to entertain that. You're not ready for that. I said, emotionally, you're not ready for that. Emotionally. I said, because so people have sex all the time and they're not emotionally equipped for it. Correct. Mm -hmm. I said, so you need to wait and make sure that, I said, look, are you emotionally ready to have a baby? Mm. Then you probably shouldn't uh, do the act that can cause you to have that. Exactly. Right. Because I'm not raising your kids. Mm -hmm. So if you ain't ready to take care of one, keep it in your pants. Right. And stop looking at stuff that makes you want to do that act. Mm -hmm. You know what, when, when I was younger and guys wanted to kiss and then they wanted to go further mm -hmm. first of all i'm not gonna do it because i heard it hurt but <laughs> what i used to say all the time is i can't wait till we get married mm -hmm. and they go like, and that would turn them i'm off, not ready right? to get married I'm like, I'm then you're like, not ready to have but my you're ready to have sex mm -hmm. right i said see you're not ready for what for, you're not ready for me mm -hmm. right right because I didn't want one thing to go without the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because then I didn't want a nickname either. Mm -hmm. Right. And then what they do is tell their friends, 
that and they, they got get with you. accolades yeah. for and it. And they break up with you, mm -hmm. and then their friend try to hook up with you, and mm -hmm. you're really thinking that that person really likes you. Right. Then you sleeping with them, and then once you they get done yep. mm -hmm. with using and abusing you, mm -hmm. then they break up with you. You're all sad, mm -hmm. and then you're the whore, mm -hmm. right? Because they didn't got with the girl that wouldn't and they give big it to them. Because they hit they got all these notches on their belts, mm -hmm. and my but whole, they keep passing you around to their friends. But you know what's the worst thing? Do you know what the worst thing is? Is that nowadays girls have gotten so angry because men do that, that they mm -hmm. say, well, shoot, I can do it too. Right. And so now the young girls are saying, you're just a notch on my belt. But in society, they're still getting the Regardless same label. Of, right? Exactly. But it's they, horrible. they feel like they're big dog in it because I choose who I want to be with. Woo, 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 woo. I can do it just like you can. Mm. And it's not helping them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. It's not helpful for them to feel that way. They feel like they're being empowered and they're being stronger because they're making the decision and ain't nobody gonna use me, I'm gonna use them first. Right. And in doing that, they're harming themselves. Exactly. You know, but at the same time, mm -hmm. it can be empowering. If you regulate, like me, mm -hmm. there came a point I was single. Mm -hmm. I knew that I needed it and needed it. <laughs> and I know when I need it. I know what I feel like when I need it. Mm -hmm. But it was like maybe every three months. So I had a friend that I would call him up. Hey, you want to watch videos or something? Mm -hmm. You know, those are the key words. Right. Okay. And you but know what he asked me? No, but look, look, look. The reason why I didn't do it all the time with him is because I wanted to keep that separate. So that you right. guys didn't get feelings. So I didn't catch feelings. Okay. But mm. then he was like, why you don't be trying to get with me and have a relationship with me? I said, for what? So you had your booty call. That's what it, it was. And I wanted it to remain that without getting attacked. But, without getting attacked. The feelings, but, listen, the to the, but listen to the difference. You had one fellow mm -hmm. that you were engaging in that No, way. that's what I was telling you about. Okay. But well, I had a couple. She didn't tell you about the other ones. Yeah, well, I had a couple What I'm saying is. But I would are... rotate so I wouldn't get attacked. <laughs> To that one, but and, and I had different reasons. There, the girls today are going; okay. they're they're being just like guys. Well, but yeah, were so, in the past. Well, not only that, mm -hmm. they they're on Instagram, they're on mm -hmm. whatever it is yes. out there. My granddaughters, and what they do, they they engage the guys. Yes, they pursue yes the boys. So I have grandsons and I have granddaughters. And my grandsons are timid, mm -hmm. in a sense. In a sense. Mm -hmm. right. But the females are coming after them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And my granddaughters are going after the boys. And see, and I, wow. I explained that to them. That is not how you're supposed to do you this. You know what? And I'm all for being empowered. If you're encouraged to be that, you know, to be a strong woman. And if you feel like you're attracted to somebody to say, but... I'm still a little old fashioned when where it comes, you know, I believe right. a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. Amen. So mm -hmm. Me too. Well I, that's that's I, you going okay, by no, 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 no. scripture. I'm, no, no, but I'm telling you my mindset. And if that's where my mindset starts, then that's because where I gotta that's go where to. You were taught. Right. So in my mind, the man should chase me. Right. I don't wanna be chasing after nobody. Right. Exactly. And when I'm doing it, there's a way, if, if I did want to pursue somebody, there's a way to do it. Right. These girls are half-dressed right. on every social media site right. known to man. Right. And they're getting these labels, and it's like they don't right. care, because they're like, care. well, I'm just being just like a man. Well, but you that know, doesn't make and you like I good. said, at the same time, when I had my different guys, I didn't chase them. They, mm -hmm. I, we met. They were pursuing you. Yeah, they right. pursued See me. what I'm saying? It's just I was in control. Yes, and there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with being in control that happens. Right. But I'm just saying these women who, these well, these young young ladies, sometimes young girls, are getting in this mentality mm -hmm. to where, well, if guys do it, I can do it too. Okay. And in, in that mindset, Changing society. they are injuring themselves. It opens a door to promiscuity, mm -hmm. okay? And then some people really can handle, they think they can handle the door they've opened of promiscuousness mm -hmm. for whatever reason of promiscuousness. And they are misusing the power that they want to possess. 
and then they're allowing their bodies to because be of numerous men that have entered them mm -hmm. and the different connections because mm -hmm. even though you don't want the feelings there is still a connection developed when you lay down with a person yes, and you know when I was younger you know I I had sex early okay and it took me down a spiral What's that I wish early? I would have never, What's you know. Early? No, you like holding stuff against people over their head. I ain't gonna tell you. I just want to know what's early. But what I'm saying. I mean, I was 21 a, when I lost mine. Well, I was, a, I was a teenager. So I was 15. I, I was a teenager. Okay. And I was a teenage mom, too. I had my me oldest too. son at 17. He's 32 now. Okay. Me, too. And the thing about it is I stepped through that door for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. And... I was raised in the church, okay, but I had all of Jesus, all right, all of the word of God, but what lacked was a sexual education, right, what lacked right. was That's because the, they didn't want like it, talking it, about it, that. It, it was taboo, right. and so I was not educated, but, about, what but I, I was told, want. you're this, and you're that, and you're mm -hmm. this, and you're that, yeah. within the realm of that home, and I was still a virgin. Mm -hmm. So it was nobody to combat the negativity. Yeah. So I said, okay, you're calling me that. I'm not doing that. But I'm gonna be that. But but I'm gonna go ahead and be that. Since and you already I'm, labeled since me. Since you already right. labeled me, and you're the voice in my life that's imparting into me. Yeah. Okay. So then you became a voice that was a detriment and not yeah. life. And then mm -hmm. I stepped out, and it opened a door because right. in my mentality, I had the mind frame of I wanted to be married. Mm -hmm. Okay, marriage was me, not because I knocked anybody else's decision. Right. I just had my life planted out, mm -hmm. you know, and said, okay, I'm going to be married. I'm going to have my children. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but because of the pressure, not yeah. from the streets, right? The, the peer home. pressure in the home, yeah. for whatever reason, right. it opened up a door that I was not ready for, and a lot mm -hmm. of the women that are out there on social media they have stepped into a realm mm -hmm. because society has made promiscuousness acceptable okay. Right. and okay mm -hmm. and they press it instead mm -hmm. of saying a woman that is fully dressed and beautiful and secure within herself yeah. can still get a man that will love her right no show your show your, your everything titties. god gave you, you know show, show everything ass. you know pop it open even in my timeline i have mm -hmm. blocked so many people because in my timeline, I'm like, I don't want to see you, Tatiana. I, I don't want to see you <laughs> right. popping it. I don't want to mm -hmm. see your titties. Show me your mind. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're not really instilling right. in their daughters. And right. I've instilled it in my two. Uh -huh. You, your mind. And, now, and I think I'm grateful for that. And there are some people who don't have that, that, I wouldn't say that, that care of, of for themselves to say, hey, you know what? I want somebody to appreciate me for more than just my body. But there's these girls who want attention. Right. They're not getting it. They're, right. They don't feel like they're loved or whatever. Right. So they feel like when they get their attention, then, oh, then I'm the best. I'm the this, I'm the that. But it's all superficial. Right. That, and that's, that's because why. no one told them right. that but they were exactly. pretty. But that's why not, you need to take it upon yourself to yes. let them know. Because I was 17. Yeah. Had to get married because that's just what you did when you got pregnant. Back Shotgun. Then. Mm -hmm. You know, and... I got pictures with my daddy looking like he was ready to kill this person, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, but that's just how they did it back then. Mm -hmm. Didn't mean that I didn't love him. My ex, mm -hmm. notice what I said, my mm -hmm. ex, we wasn't ready for no marriage. Right. We weren't ready to do none of that. We weren't ready, ready for marriage, kid, ready for I no wasn't. kid, no nothing. But if you're not but ready that's for that, did they at did. least talk about uh, covering up? now I, I, we have more strands of stds now than back then like i agree with you yeah. but like you're saying when you're talking about did they talk about strapping up i'm yeah. gonna go back to my initial statement the sexual education was, was not nothing. there for me it wasn't right. even there about a, you know a condom it wasn't there about birth control they didn't want to talk about it because they felt like if they didn't talk about it then it wouldn't happen exactly, right you know, it was something because i remember <laughs> well, even in school they didn't really they didn't even didn't have sexual education well we had we had we went to a science class and then they showed health us class. yeah health yeah. class yeah. in they elementary you how school a baby's made. right no, they didn't show me how the baby's made they just showed us how we go through puberty and all these different changes right. yes. but 
I would have to say, Pat Satterwhite got with us at about, I want to say 14, 15. Mm -hmm. and, and it was taboo, but he was just like, he just acted like a dad. He just said, what do you guys know about sex? Mm -hmm. yeah. And what I said, he started laughing. Mm -hmm. What the other kids started saying, he was laughing at them too. Mm -hmm. And so he, he said, you know what, you guys, they don't talk about that, but as your dad, mm -hmm. not just your pastor, but your dad, because we mm -hmm. all called him dad. Right. He just sat there and had that talk with us. But it's yeah. important, it, it, excuse me, it is so mm -hmm. important for the education. My six children, I have four boys and two girls. And a lot of people are like, well, you, you just, you're no, just, you're just. just, you're just, 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 just <laughs> yeah. Look, how you gonna yeah. get mad? Wait a minute. You get mad at her now. Dang. Dang. Wait, I didn't know all it that before you sat down. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, but um, it's, she got 12. Don't worry about it. Took us six <laughs> times to figure out. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. But it was just like, I sat mine down and I talked to them. And a lot of people felt you're too close with your children. No, I'm not too close because they have a whole world to go out to, okay? Right. And the men and the women they interact with and their lifestyles and what they're gonna have to encounter is not gonna be sometimes nice to them. So I'm gonna have to let them know this is what it is. Right. I've even taken my children down to the clinic, to the doctor. I've Me showed too. them everything and been there with them and walked them through it mm -hmm. so that they will be comfortable you know, and even to this day, they're comfortable. Some stuff I don't want to know. Some well, yeah. stuff I don't, I don't want to know. You are real grown, all the way grown. I don't need to hear that. You know. But see, mm. the thing is, when you do that, Talk you louder. prepare them emotionally. Correct. Yes. For what's going to happen. Right. You know, you can tell them. Listen, I don't think that you're emotionally prepared for this. Mm -hmm. However. I want to equip you with the knowledge so that you don't step into something that you don't know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. And so I, I even had this conversation with some teens and I was like, listen, yes, your body physically, especially nowadays, the kids develop so fast, your body physically, it, yeah, it's equipped mm -hmm. to do all the acts. But is your mind equipped? Exactly. exactly. Because, you know, so many of these kids who, number one, it's a spirit. Like, sexuality that's a spirit that gets on you and you just go buck wild yeah. and a lot of people don't know that and so they feel like oh you know oh they're just so because it's fun yes. at first mm -hmm. and then when they start it starts feeling good mm -hmm. then their body starts craving, craving yes mm -hmm. that good feeling yes and then that's how the promiscuity starts and then before you know it they've had so many partners they can't even count and, and if they're not being careful, then they've collected other things on the way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Be because of lack of education. Lack of because education. Because the, the, the whole, I mean, there's so many facets that go along with it. Not just the sexual education, the hygiene about it. Yes. Getting yourself tested, mm -hmm. taking care of yourself. You That's know, another thing. And, and how, excuse me, multiple partners, yes. cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has been medically proven, mm -hmm. multiple partners brings about cervical cancer in many women statistically in our society today. Yeah, because of all the different bacteria yes. and stuff from men to man that have passed it. That's why um, when we talked before, mm -hmm, yes. I was just going to say when we talked before and we were joking and we were, you know, talking about stanky vaginas. Yes. But the thing is, Having too many sexual partners can cause that. Mm -hmm. Bacteria and vaginosis. Bacteria yeah. vaginosis. Let's talk about it. You know, it Let's talk about it. Talk about it, for, it can throw off your pH balance. Yeah. Yeah. When we talk about grown balance. women talking, yeah. yes. grown women need to be talking. Right. And that means exactly. if you're old enough and you're active enough, then you need to be having conversations right. with somebody. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Help educate If you've grown them. enough to do the activity, Hello. then yes. you've grown, grown enough to have a conversation. conversation. And take that's care of yourself. Yes. And go be to accountable. The doctor yes. yes. Do what you need to and do. And that's the other thing. That's so important. They don't go to the doctor. Because mm -hmm. they're scared, because they're telling on themselves. Yes. 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 And then, you know, Embarrassed. HPV. Embarrassed. If an individual has HPV, just to mm -hmm. piggyback on what you're saying, if an individual has HPV and they have intercourse, unprotected intercourse, with another individual that has the HIV antibody in their system, that person with HPV contracts HIV. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so that right there is like, okay, so you did this free, you know, 60s, Woodstock, free sex and love, okay? And you don't have that education regards to these diseases and you interact 
it with an individual, one night stands, you or know, whatever. group sex, mm -hmm. whatever you into, and you don't know, and then mm -hmm. next thing you know, how in the world did you get you know why? Disease. Because they think HIV is only in gay men or yes. a gay society, and it's right. not. And it's not. So not. And it's not. And you know, the other thing is, <laughs> the yeah. people's excuse, I've heard this, and I'm like, are you serious? They'd be like, well, they looked clean. Well, what does a clean person look like? Well, they looked like they didn't have anything. You know, and I'm what? glad you brought up that point, because it was a lady who engaged in intercourse with this guy. One night stand, she met him in the club, Okay. Unfortunately, she contracted AIDS, all right? Mm -hmm. She went on a vigilante, this is in the news, vigilante Just rampage, and she said she was going to try to wipe out as many men as possible, okay? Because, because there's men that's Because done that that's too. what she got, and it goes right along with what you said. She didn't look like she had it. But you know he what? He didn't look like you know he what? had if it. If I was going to go on that kind of spree because I caught it, I'm going to tell you what I would do. I would give them the option to use a condom with me or not. And then if they chose not to use a condom, then that then they got what they got. But I'm not going to go out there. So I just said that is. I feel I just so said I, no, no, I don't agree with going out there to try to kill as many men as possible. But what I'm saying is, if I had that mindset mm -hmm. to get payback, right. I'm going to at least give them the option to mm -hmm. use protection with me before we do anything. But you know, I have and if they choose not you're coming to, from. because I don't want to be sitting yeah. in a court where they tell me it was attempted murder and I did it on purpose be like, no, when they the chose <laughs> not to use a condom. But think about, you know, think about, and it, you, are, you have hit a nail on the head. Think about so many men and women too, I'm not gonna leave them exempt, but the men right now in this society, okay, that just look at a pretty face, big booty, nice titties, and don't even care. They just want to say they've been with that individual, yeah. and they're oh, I not that. like they I, mark I that territory. That. You know, <laughs> come on, they mark bragging territory. rights. That's just crazy. Terrible. Ooh.